Let's take an in-depth look at the daily deals in the Magic Arena store because we can get so much value from this, whether it's free gold, free gems, discounted draft tokens or discounted packs. They all come up at different times. So let's talk about when they come up, which ones you should spend your gold or gems on and whether it's better spending gold or gems on those particular things. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to know about the daily deals is that they happen every day. That sounded kind of silly, but every single day they will reset. And depending on what time zone you're in, different time of day, but it will tell you when it's gonna reset. So for me, 49 minutes until it resets again, and we'll have a whole different load of daily deals in the store. So in the store, the best things we can get are either free gems, free gold, player draft tokens at a discounted rate, or packs at a discounted rate. And first of all, I thought these came up just randomly because I would always just check the store every day to see what the daily deal was. Normally it's this first one that's highlighted that would be the free gold or free gems and everything else is normally just a cosmetic of some kind. Sometimes there's avatars, sometimes there's other things in here. Quite often it's just card styles. Uh, there were actually sometimes as well when I would have a look at the end and even though everything up here would be a normal card style, the one right at the end would be a discounted pack. I don't know if they do that very much right now because I've only ever seen it back on this first one, but it's possible. So it's always worth having a look. But I would normally just go to the daily deals, have a look what it was for that day. Usually it'd be something that I don't care about and I would leave it alone. And then every so often I would come back and find out there was some free gold or free gems in the store. Well, for the past few months, I've had a look at every time the free gold, free gems, and the player draft tokens have come up in the store. And it's actually on a really regular schedule, which is really good because it means we can predict when they're going to come up. So the gold deal is usually, and it might change in the future, is usually 550 gold if you spend 50 gold to get it. So you're basically getting 500 gold for nothing, but you need to have something in your account to get it. If you spend all of your gold on something else, then you just you're going to miss out and i've had a look at the schedule of when that has come up previously and it seems to be kind of a random day in the week but the week i can predict so it's every six weeks this comes up and it came up at the beginning of december halfway through january at the end of february and it's just come up a few days ago which is just coming into the middle of april so the next time we should see it is towards the end of may um, so if you did see that in the store a few days ago, if you're watching this video when it's coming out, then yeah, we had the 550 gold option come up there as well. So you should always get this. There's no reason why not to. It's just 500 gold for free. It's not very much, but it's free. So just take it. We now also have the gems offer. So you can get 400 gems at a cost of either 300 gems or 1,500 gold. So the cost for this is higher than the free gold, but it's still essentially free resources, free currency, because if you have 300 gems in your account, you can just swap it for 400 gems. You're getting 100 gems for nothing. And if you can spend your gold, if you have 1,500 gold, then this is the best way to convert gold to gems, better than doing draft events or doing other events where you can get gems as a reward if you spend gold to enter, because this, there's no risk. It's predictable. It's exact you spend 1500 gold and you get 400 gems back so this option is really great especially for people that don't do the draft events or don't collect gems from doing those events because you need to have some gems every quarter roughly when a new mastery pass comes out you need to be able to buy that mastery pass because you get so much value from it now this comes up just like the gold comes up every six weeks but it's two weeks after the gold comes out. So we had the gold offer happening this week uh, when I'm recording this video, and we'll have the gems offer come out towards the end of April. So it should just be uh, in that last week of April, we should have the gems offer 400 gems for spending 300 gems or 1,500 gold. So when should you get the gems offer? You should basically always get it. There's no reason why not because it is free resources. If you have gold, you want to convert into gems, then um, it's a really easy way of doing that. And if you don't, you just wanna increase the number of gems you have 
get an extra 100 gems for free, then sure, why not? Now, there is a benefit to spending gold on this rather than spending the gems because it depends what you spend your gems on. If you're just going to spend your gems on getting the mastery pass, if you don't do draft events, then this is a really easy way just to get more gems for your next mastery pass. It comes out every six weeks, which means roughly if a new set came out every 12 weeks, which is not exact, but it's around that, then you can get 800 gems for free or well, you spend 3000 gold but you get eight 800 gems without having to spend any money without having to do any draft events and that those 800 gems go towards your next mastery pass now when you get the mastery pass it's 3400 gems you get 1200 back which means it's about 2200 net cost in gems that you're spending and if you can get 800 of that from buying gems in the store that only leaves you with 1,400 gems you need to get at some point in those three months roughly to be able to buy the next mastery pass and the good thing about the mastery pass is it comes with a draft token now you can use this to enter a premier draft event and if you get enough wins in a premier draft draft event then you'll get gems back as a reward so actually this is a way of getting your mastery pass to pay for the next one by itself once you've started that mastery pass once you're on that train of getting the mastery pass you get some gems back you get a draft token in order to get some gems you actually get some gold as well so that just comes along with the mastery pass and if you can buy this gem offer in the store every six weeks then you're going to have pretty much enough gems to buy the mastery pass without having to spend gold or gems on any other event. You just have to use your draft token that you get and get three or four wins and you'll pretty much get there. The reason why it's better for me to spend my gold on the 400 gems rather than spending 300 gems to get the 400 gems deal is because I would rather spend my gems on doing quick drafts. So if I spent 1,500 gold on getting the 400 gems out of the 5,000 gold entry fee that you need to spend for a quick draft, that's 30% of an entry fee for a draft. If I spent my 300 gems on getting the 400 gem offer from the store, then I'm actually spending about 53% of a draft entry on getting those gems. So either way, it's not a huge difference to you if you don't enter the quick drafts but if you do enter quick drafts and if you want to spend your excess gems on draft events then technically you are spending a larger proportion of a draft entry fee if you spend the um, the gems and you're spending a smaller proportion of an entry fee if you're spending it in gold so normally we want to spend gold on other things it's just because we get the 25 percent discount on quick draft events that we'd rather spend gems on drafts than gold because the way the conversion normally goes is a thousand gold is worth 200 gems so 5,000 gold to enter a draft event would be equivalent to a thousand gems but we're getting a 25 percent discount because that's just what they offer for the events when you pay in gems so it's much better to get your mastery pass whether you're getting the pass bundle the 15 dollar get the mastery pass for a, a pre-order that we've had since Phyrexia and for March of the Machine. Or if you just have enough gems, you can just buy the Mastery Pass with your gems. But any extra gems you have, this is what I do. Any extra gems I have, I'll spend them on draft events. Until I've done enough drafting for a set and I'm happy with the amount of cards I've built from it, I would only ever actually spend gold on doing draft events if I didn't have enough gems to spend on it. It's much better for me to save up my gold to buy packs. So the next offer we can get in the daily deals is the draft token. This is a player draft token, which is basically an entry fee to a premier draft event. And they normally cost 10,000 gold to enter or 1,500 gems. But when we have this offer in the store, it gives us a 10% discount on the normal costs. But because the way the gems and the gold translate, it actually gives us a 10% discount on the 10,000 gold you'd normally spend. So 9,000 gold is what you'd spend on the draft token in the daily deals. And if you were paying in gems for the event, you would pay 1,500 gems. We get a 10% discount off that as well, which is 1,350 gems for the draft token. Now with most things, like I said, the conversion between gold and gems, is about 200 gems to 1,000 gold. 
In this case, we have the option of buying the draft token for either 1,300 gems or 9,000 gold, which makes it look like it's a better deal to get it in gems because it's like we're getting a 25% discount on gems like we do just for entering the events. But because you can only use this draft token to enter a premier draft or traditional draft, then we're getting that discount either way. Because if you spent gold on the player draft token and then spent your extra gems on an entry fee for a draft event by itself, you're getting the discount. If you had spent your gems on the draft token and then later on spend gold on another entry fee to the event, you're still getting the same discount either way. No matter what we do, we're spending 90% of the entry fee for the premier draft on getting the token. Now, is there any point in doing this rather than just paying the event directly, paying for the entry fee directly? Well, if you're ever going to do premier drafts, apart from you get the token in the mastery pass, if you ever want to pay for extra premier drafts, then it's always worth buying this draft token because you're just getting this extra bit of value for free. You're either getting a thousand gold for free, essentially, or you're getting 150 gems for free, essentially, because you're just spending less, getting a discounted rate on entering that event. And you don't actually have to spend it straight away. There's no time limit on having that draft token. I have one that I think I bought from the daily deals from possibly a few weeks ago, or maybe the time before that, or I might have got this one from the mastery pass. I can't remember. You get it from different places, but I have one here and I haven't used it yet. I'm actually going to use it on March of the Machine when it comes out, which is coming out very soon. Um, but there's no time limit. There's no reason why you shouldn't do it. If you're ever going to enter a premier draft, you might as well just buy the token at a discounted rate. And this comes out in the same way the gold and the gems do. It's every six weeks I've seen it come up over the last four times. So over the last 24 weeks, I've seen the draft token come up very regularly. It's not on the same day every week, but it is on certain weeks of the year. They are six weeks apart and they are two weeks after the gems offer comes out. So this week that I'm recording this video, we had the gold offer. In two weeks from now, on one of the days in that week, we should be able to see the 400 gems offer. And two weeks after that, we should get another draft token. That means like with the gems, this will come up twice for every set, roughly, if a set comes out every quarter. So we can get with the mastery pass, giving us one draft token, we can get three premier draft tokens at a discounted rate or basically three entries to three premier draft events at a discounted rate per set. Now for the draft token, does it matter if you spend the gems or the gold? Like I said earlier, I would rather spend my gold on packs and my gems on draft events. So although it's 90% of a draft either way, we would be spending, if we spent in gold, nine packs worth in the gold or if we're spending the gems 1350 gems that would get us almost seven packs but basically just six packs um, so i'd much rather spend gems on the event which is six packs worth and save my 9000 gold to buy nine packs later on so that's the player draft token and that's the rotating schedule for gold and gems and draft tokens but the other thing we'll get in the daily deals every so often is we will see a discounted pack now this could be and i'm not sure about the exact um time frame of this i'm not it doesn't seem to be on the same schedule i haven't seen i haven't got all the data of all the different packs and when they've come out but there are times when you might see one pack of the most recent set for 900 gold or 180 gems so basically a 10 percent discount on a pack it might be the most recent one which is the best thing because if we have the most recent one we get our golden pack progress which is the biggest difference to buying the most recent packs it means the most recent packs are pretty much 50 percent more valuable than the most recent before that so when march of the machine comes out if we want to buy a march of the machine pack it's going to give us extra value compared to buying any Phyrexia packs or Brothers War packs or anything else from that point. The good thing about Golden Packs is that we actually have not just the current set like with Phyrexia because that's the most recent one as I'm recording this. We have the normal Phyrexia, we have the Phyrexia Alchemy packs and we also have the Shadows Over Innistrad remastered packs because they're the most recent set that's come out for Historic or Explorer. So we might be able to see other packs in the future that do this, which would be really nice to see. So if we had a Shadows Over Innistrad pack come up here, that would also give us the Golden Pack progress. So that falls into that first category of 
technically the most recent packs and they will give us golden packs and they give us the most value. So if you ever see one of those for 90% of the normal cost, the 10% discount, then you might as well get it because if you're ever going to buy a pack in the store, you're just saving a bit of money. It's not very much. Like I said, if it's gold, we're spending 900 gold instead of 1,000. 100 gold is not very much difference, but you might as well buy it just because it's there if you're ever going to buy a pack. Now, sometimes you might see other packs. So we might see a Brothers War pack or a Dominaria pack. We might see any other pack in the store here. And if you see that for a 10% discount, then you might think what's worth getting because it's discounted. But actually, because we get so much more value from the golden pack progress when we buy the most recent packs, even if we have um, an older standard pack or any other pack that doesn't give us golden pack progress, even if it's at a discount, it's not going to be anywhere near as much value as buying a most recent pack at the normal price, at the normal 1000 gold price. But it can be worth buying packs from previous standard sets or from any other historic set if they have the right discount for it. If you want the value to be about the same for a pack that is not the most recent one that doesn't give us golden pack progress, it would need to be about 650 gold because that would mean we're spending about 560 gold per rare, which is about the same as buying a normal pack, a most recent pack at normal price. So you will sometimes see this discounted much more. It doesn't happen very often. I think it was possibly just before rotation or just after rotation last year that in the daily deals, the whole um, section along the bottom here was... Um, different packs from all the most recent sets and they're all 500 gold and in that case it's obviously good value just to get all of them this was before um, the golden packs were a thing anyway back then but even so now it's worth getting any pack for 500 gold because even if you don't get the golden pack progress you're getting the rare from that set and you are getting um or a wild card when you open the pack and you're getting a sixth of a wild card from the wild card track progress as well so that's pretty much all I can say about the daily deals. It's always worth coming back and checking it when it refreshes because you never know, it might be something uh, really valuable. The gold, just take it. The gems, it's much better to spend your gold to convert into gems than to spend your gems to get a few extra. When it's the player draft token, you're probably better off spending your gems to get that and saving the gold for buying other packs. Um, because you'll get more packs for that amount of gold than you will for that amount of gems that you're spending. And if you see a pack that's discounted in the store, the most recent one, definitely get it. If it's not the most recent one, you're going to get less value from it unless it's discounted to something around 650 gold. It will also make a difference to you if rotation's coming up because you probably don't want to buy packs from Midnight Hunt just before rotation happens and all those are going to become historic and explorer legal and not standard or alchemy legal anymore. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you know when the packs come up? Do you know if it's a regular regular schedule to that? Because I haven't seen that. But maybe it is. Maybe I just don't have the information yet. Let me know what you think. What do you buy in the store? I would love to hear your comments. So don't forget you can like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any other future Magic Arena value economy type content from me. And thank you for watching this one to the end. I will see you guys in the next video.